This is how to turn this boring blog loop into something like this. Or maybe this one. Or maybe this one. Looks interesting, right? So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and I'll show you how you can create custom blog loops using Divi 5 Loop Builder. And just to mention, these blog post loop templates, you can download from our blog post, the HTV link in the video description below. But right now, let me show you how you can create one of these templates. All right, so this is how our normal blog post loop looks like. So we have a big thumbnail and we have the title and some metadata below this. So let me show you how we can customize this and create something like this one. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend. So we go to dashboard from here and let's start fresh from a page and we call it blog loop. Let's publish this and we are going to use Divi Builder. And now we are going to start from the scratch and let's see what happens when we add a blog module. So we go ahead and add a single column and then search for blog. So here we have the blog module and this is how the normal blog post loop looks like. So now let's go ahead and build our own custom blog loop. So for that, we will start by creating our loop. So we need a basic structure that we need to repeat as a loop. So here we are going to add a three column layout and starting with our group module in column number one. And here we are going to add an image, which is going to act as our feature image. Then we are going to add a heading, which will be our blog post heading. Then we are going to add text, which will act as our excerpt. And then we will add a button, which will act as our read more button. Now, once we have done that, we can go ahead and do styling for our column number one. So let me just go ahead and do that. After that, let's go ahead and do styling for our image, our title and all the other elements. So I'm just going to copy my style from here. So let me just go ahead and right click here, copy attributes and then right click here. And then we are going to paste the design attribute. Let's go ahead and copy the styling for our title and then paste it here. then copy the styling for our excerpt and paste it again here and let's copy the styling for our read more link which is a button and then paste it here again and after that let's go ahead and duplicate this um, title here and I'm just going to use this as our metadata. So let me just do the styling for this. So now we are going to repeat this to create our complete blog loop. So let's go ahead and click on this row. We go to our first column, which we have styled. And now we go to loop and then turn the loop element on. So here it's going to turn on the loop, but it's not looking very good. So we need to come back here in our main row, then go to design. And let's check if it is in flex layout. Yes, it is. And now we need to turn on the layout wrapping. So let's turn it on. And now we have a pretty clean layout. And now the only thing left is to connect everything with our dynamic content. So let's go ahead and do that. Starting with our image, let's click on this. And for the image source, we are going to click on this dynamic content option. We click on this and then click on loop feature image. So it's going to fetch the feature image of our blog post. And let's do the same for all the other modules. Let's click on this heading. We go to heading dynamic content and we are going to loop the post title here. So now it's got updated with our post title. Same with this one. We are going to connect this as our loop published date like this. And same for this text, we are going to connect this to our, our loop excerpt. And for the click here button, we will rename this to read more. And then we will connect this as a link. 
and the URL will be our dynamic link, which is going to connect to the loop link. We will click on apply and we are going to add the same link to our image. So we come back here and then click on this link option. And in the image link URL, we are again going to choose dynamic content and we will change it to loop link and click on apply. Same we are going to do with our title. We go to link and we are going to choose the link URL as our loop link. Let's click on apply and you will leave it as in current tab. And once everything is set, let's go ahead and click on save and let's click on preview. So here is how our custom blog loop looks like. And if we click on our image, it's going to take us to the blog post. And even if we click on the read more button, it's going to take us to our blog post only. So this is how easy it is to create a custom blog loop using DB5 Loop Builder. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more DB and WordPress updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.